40 Airplane Flying Over a Globe Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I am going to be showing you a 40 airplane flying over a globe. So the globe is just a cute little mini earth on the nail, so it's a nice round nail so that kind of helps with that whole earth appearance. And I used some Madame Glam gel polish colors that I just got that are really pretty. I've used the one that's called Under the Stars in a previous video and I've said it then and I'm going to say it again. That color is amazing. It's on my nails right now. It is the sparkliest blue I've ever seen. It doesn't even look like it could possibly be a gel polish. It looks like it has to be a loose glitter or something. But it is, and it's gorgeous, so I highly recommend that one. And I use that again in this video because I just couldn't get enough of it. So if you guys are interested in that color, definitely check it out. And don't forget to click subscribe to my future videos as well. I'm going to begin with an overlay of clear acrylic. So my entire little earth I did with gel polish. However, if you wanted to do it with acrylic, you definitely could. You'd start out with a blue overlay, then sculpt out the continents with green, then encase it, and it would have a really nice effect as well. Then I'm going to be filing the nail into shape with my e-file, regardless of which method that you use, but I'm going to just file over really quick, do a coarse bit, then do a finer bit to make sure that it is nice and smooth. And now I'm going to be painting one coat of vivid purple, which is actually a kind of a purpley blue, but I think it's blue, It's I think it's a great ocean color. So apply one coat of that, and then I'm going to take Lost in the Woods, and I'm going to start painting out my continents. So as you're doing this, you can paint any section of the globe that you'd like, and depending on how big or small you paint them, paint your continents, you will have more or less room. So I have first North America, then I'm going to take into the very top of South America. Considering that this nail is kind of the wrong direction to paint, like the full, full continents, you could do it the other direction, so you could paint them the opposite way. But then I'm going to take the color Deep, Emer Deep Emerald, I'm going to be adding some shadows around all of them, give them a little bit more depth and depth and definition. This deep emerald color is quickly becoming one of my absolute favorite colors. It is an almost black green, and it is so gorgeous, and it's so creamy, and it's just amazing. And then I'm going to be highlighting my oceans with the color Under the Stars, which I used just recently for my 4th of July nails, and it is sparkles galore. It is so pretty. It's my favorite blue that I have. I might just add some of those sparkles going around and then after you have that cured again. So I just kind of added highlights near the continent so that it makes it look a little bit more shallow. And then I'm going to be adding a layer of gel sealer over the nail and curing it. So now in a nail form backing, I'm going to be sculpting my plane. So I started out with the main body of the plane, just kind of going down in a little, I don't know, little bar shape like so. Doesn't take too much. Don't worry if it's not thick enough. You can always add more of that later. Then I'm going to be adding the little tail fin, the little tail piece of my plane right there on the nail form backing. Do that to the side because you'll glue it upright after this is all set. Then you're going to be adding the left and right wings of your plane. So just do that. This we will attach to your plane at the moment. You can sculpt those right on it from the get-go. Just like that. Kind of pat in the wings so that they have a nice kind of strong defined shape nice straight lines. And you can keep working on them and adjusting them until they're fully set if you'd like. And you can keep keep fixing things. Then adding the little horizontal um, tail fin pieces. And I know that I'm saying tail fins and that's not the right word, but you know, you know what I'm saying. So just add those little bits there. After you have that done, you can pop it off the nail form backing. And then there I have the right word, the vertical stabilizer to the tail of the plane. See, I have, I always look these things up because I'm like, well, I wonder what that's called and then I have to know it. And then by the time I get to the voiceover, I forgot it already. So then I forget what I'm doing. So you got the vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizers. There it is. But after you have all of that glued in place and it's all the right shape, you're going to want to add a second coat of acrylic to the body of the plane so that it's thicker. Otherwise your plane looks very, very flat and that's kind of a, a weird idea. So definitely add another layer above the wings and after you have that done and you have that second layer so that your plane looks about half the right thickness that you want it to be in the end so it's not like the full height of the plane that it should be it's just you know kind of halfway there and after you have that done and it has set and you've got everything attached flip it over and then you're going to want to add a second layer of acrylic to the bottom side of the plane. So add the second layer over the body. At this point I would definitely recommend also adding some more acrylic to the underside of the wings in case you are worried about them breaking at all because they are very, very paper thin. So if that's something that is on your mind, definitely add that at this point. Then I'm going to be doing gluing two glass beads to the underside of my plane. So there's the first one. There's the second one. You want them to be glued so that the holes go 
so that you can like look if you're looking from the nose of the plane down to the tail you can see right through your beads that's how you want them glued and then secure those with a little bit more of the gray acrylic if you have gray or silver beads i would recommend using those mine are kind of like an iridescent silver color but just so that they don't stand out so i won't use like bright orange ones because that'd be kind of weird then with white paint i'm going to be painting first the windows on the cockpit of the plane and then the windows down the side of the body just little polka dots for those windows down the side doesn't take too much and then you're going to want to apply some gel sealer over those windows so that they don't get washed off and then i'm going to be taking and i'm going to glue a piece of wire under the free edge of the nail it's just take and glue that down once it's set then you are going to kind of bend it up and around in a curve so you have kind of a circle going on around the nail after you have that trim off any extra wire and then i bent my wire to glue it underneath before i put my plane on and then i was like well that's stupid i need to add my plane so before you bend your wire to tuck underneath the nail then you're going to want to string your plane onto it if you don't otherwise your plane's not going to go on so then bend your wire tuck that underneath the edge of the nail obviously if this is on a person you won't be able to tuck it in underneath there but this will work out fairly well if you're doing this as a press-on nail for later otherwise you could just kind of glue it so that it goes around just the free edge of the nail so that's up to you however you want to do that but then your plane is all done and it's so cute and this little earth design is adorable especially for anybody who loves to travel like me so please take me in any recreations i'd love to see them and i'll see you in my next video bye